Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, May 28th, 2021. It's been five years today since my, since my sister passed away. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is 54%. The air conditioning in here is having problems keeping up. Yep. Uh, 32 degrees Celsius. Put a placard on the front window yesterday. Because I got a flat tire. Uh, running the running the boys home. Going across the Danes Point Bridge. The old brat buggy started bucking and bouncing. Carrying on, like whoa! Got down off the bridge, down through the through the traffic light, and I had my fingers crossed it was going to at least make it to the daughter's house, but it didn't. It blew out the whole sidewall, and right across the top of the train, all the way down the sidewall. Big old rip. These tires are less than a year old. But I did not get road hazard or anything else on them. And it's very likely that it was my fault because I've run that tire low a couple of times. So. Uh, luckily, like I said, we were kind of on a back road doing like 40, 45, when I let go, everyone was okay, found a fairly shady spot to sit, called my daughter, let her know what was going on, so she could come and get us, called my son, to come and help change the tire, but... He was way down south. I didn't have the, I don't have the tools to lower the spare. I don't have a jack in here. I didn't realize any of that. Um, luckily my oldest grandson was on his way home from graduation practice with a friend of his. And they, they uh, came and got the, got the jack from the house, got the tools that they need, and went and changed the tire for me. Uh, now I've got to find at least one tire. I've been thinking because I'm looking at that spare, and it looks like it's the original spare tire. Not, it's not dry cracked or anything, it's just, it's looking as age. <clears throat> so, if I can get to get a decent enough deal, <clears throat> excuse me, somewhere around $200, dollars uh, the tires on here cost me, between four and five hundred 
think it was like 4.30 or something like that. I don't remember completely exactly, but, um, but the tires that are on here were clearance. So, I don't know that I can get an exact match. So what I'm thinking is I have the left rear put on the spare rim two front tires moved to the back and two new tires put on the front there's a lot of controversy some people say put the new tires on the back uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, maybe I'll think. Anybody out there have an opinion on new tires front, new tires back? I prefer having new tires on the front, on the steer wheel. There's less chance of it <clears throat> if you're having a problem. If that blowout had been on the front front wheel, it could have done any number of things to my to my driving ability, handling ability. That's what happened with the with the big dump truck that I was driving. The car came, the, the truck, pickup truck came in, in the back bumper. What's going on with the traffic today? The back bumper came in and gagged my right front tire and blew it out, and it ended up standing that that big old the tri, tri, tandem axle dump truck up on her nose, and she spun around and landed down and rolled like three or four times <clears throat> slid along the slid along the side of, along the road and she pirouetted out of I was in the middle lane and by the time I stopped I was all the way over against the shoulder and the bed of the truck was hanging out over over the embankment so that was an experience that really was. I, I was holding on, holding on to the steering wheel. I come out of the seat belt. My head was only inches from the other window, and I could watch the road squirreling by under that window. Yeah. Ugh. That one messed up my neck and my back for the last time. But anyway, losing a front tire is no fun. Losing a back tire is usually usually manageable. I've lost, I've had a couple of rear tire blowouts. Sometimes they sometimes they throw your your back end out around a little bit, but if you still got good steer wheels. It's not a, it's not a huge problem. Lose the steering wheel, which I've also done a few times. Luckily, the only one that was a real problem was with the dump truck. Most of the others have been at lower speeds. You start to notice something feeling not quite right, and you back off so you're not doing the highway speed or whatever. I don't know what they got going on up here, but they got traffic all messed up. Uh, so, anyhow, I was looking around some last night, and tires aren't that bad. I'll go get around this water truck. Prices really aren't all that bad for the size tire I'm looking for. Of course, last night I was looking for the wrong size. This 
spare has actually got a a wider aspect ratio, I think. I don't know. Uh, two, I've, I'm running 270. So 235, 70, 16s. And what the spare was a 235, 75, 16. So I think the spare is a little bit taller. So I think it's going to be probably in my best interest to go with two tires and pay them to flip the other one around. There was a time that I'd do that spare by myself with a couple of irons, but that was a long time ago. Anyway, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I guess the little guys were, were kind of kind of funny. I mean, oh man, there's more traffic tie up up here. The van's bouncing and carrying on, coming down off of the bridge. And they're, they're steady asking, um, you know, what's going on? Oh, it looks like there's a fire up there. Front row. I don't know if that's a, a vehicle fire on the side of the road. Or a building off to the side. Fire trucks are coming all the way down this way. What are they doing? Maybe they're going to loop around down here. Now it looks like they got traffic totally stopped. About a mile from my exit. Come on people, let one lane through. Do something. to say what's going on. I can't see it. It's just on the other side of a rise. We're slowly making our way that way. Fire truck's coming up behind me now. Looks like they went down and swapped around. They didn't come up the other way and go to the, ride the reverse on the shoulder. That's what I would have done way back when. Uh, 
All right, well, I don't know what's going to be going on here, how long I'm going to be sitting. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'll give an update if I figure out what's going on. Um, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If you want to check me out, nope. Uh, gotta learn not to keep saying that, don't I? I think we all follow through this far. You know I always do it. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. So watch you, y'all. Bye-bye. Oh, Can't really see anything yet. Just a bunch of flashing lights. We are really creeping along. Get out of the way, idiot. Whoa. Shouldn't have tried to stop.